In this video, I'm going to go over a browser plugin that allows us to bring in our chat into our live streams or online meetings, just like this. Let's get into it. My name is Patrick, and this is Everyday Tech, everyday tech for everyday people. In a previous video, I showed you how you can bring in your audience live chats into your live streams. Now, why would you want to do this? This really increases engagement with your live audience. Now, in that video, I showed you how you can use a browser extension called Chat Overlay and another piece of software called H2R Graphics. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use another browser extension called Social Stream. You can find it at socialstream.ninja. It's made by the same developer who made Video Ninja. Now, if you don't know, Video Ninja allows you to bring in a guest into your live stream. I did a video on that. Check that out in the description below. Because this is a browser plugin, what it's doing is it's looking at what's in the browser, the chat messages coming in, and then it's consolidating all of those so you can feature them in your live stream. The advantage of that is it doesn't have to worry about APIs, so you don't have to worry about API limits, and you can support so many different platforms. It supports Twitch Live, YouTube, Amazon Live, even Zoom, Slack, Discord. As long as it's in the browser, it supports it. So I'm gonna quickly go over how you can install this plugin, how it works, and how you can bring it into any streaming software like OBS. I'll do a demo on OBS and how you can even bring it into something like an A10 Mini directly. So let me take you through a quick installation guide on how to install this plugin. First, you want to go to socialstream.ninja. This will take you right to the GitHub page of the author. And I'm installing this on Chrome. You can install this on other Chromium browsers and on Firefox. And let's go ahead and go to jump to download. And you want to download this zip file here and extract it. Now extract it to a place where you want to run it off of. This doesn't install the browser plugin into the browser folders. It runs where you extract the file. In other words, if you delete this file, the plugin is not gonna work. Now I've already extracted the file. Next, we wanna go into our manage plugins area or manage extensions. So you can go, if you have this icon here, you can say manage extensions, or you can go to Chrome colon slash slash extensions or you can go here in the browser, in Chrome browser and say more, and there's extensions there as well. Now, you want, the first thing you wanna do is make sure the developer mode is on, like it's already on here for me, and we're gonna go load unpacked. Now we're gonna go pick the social stream main folder that we extracted, and now we have the plugin installed. The next thing I wanna do is dock it here, because we're gonna always refer this a lot here. And now we have this browser uh, installed here. Of course, when we start using it, we're going to enable this extension through this toggle here. So let me briefly explain how this plugin works. This is a browser plugin, so it runs in the web browser, and it's broken up into two different parts. You have the streaming chat and the featured chat overlay. The streaming chat is where all the messages show up, where you click on the message and it shows up in the featured chat overlay window. What's happening with the plugin is it's looking at the chat messages for different platforms and bringing them into the social stream ninja server where it displays on this URL here. Now this means that all your platforms that you're trying to get the chat from need to be running in the web browser. So YouTube already runs in the web browser, but how about Zoom? If you're trying to bring in messages from Zoom, Slack, Discord, you can't use the desktop apps. You need to use the web browser apps to bring them in. And then you can display them. Once you click on one, it'll display in the feature chat overlay, which you can bring into another web browser or into OBS. Okay, here we are in our test stream right now. You're getting this mirrored effect because I'm sharing my screen. But the first thing we want to do is make sure we pop out the chat. The chat plugin needs to have the URL of the actual uh, chat itself. So we need to pop it out. Now it's in its own window. Now I'm going to put this off screen here. And then we go into our chat plugin here. Make sure the extension is active. Let's go into our streaming chat URL here. Let's click on that. And here is the kind of control center for all your messages. Now, no chat messages are showing up because it'll only take in the ones that are coming in. It's basically listening for new chat messages coming in. So I'm going to type in another chat message here and it should show up right there. 
Now to display this, we need to go into our featured chat overlay window here. And this is the URL. This is the window that you're gonna bring into OBS Ecamm or vMix on a PC. And when we go back here, if I click on this message here, it'll show as an overlay here in this window. And this is what shows up in a live stream overlay over the actual live stream itself. So that's kind of one way to do it. And then I can clear that overlay and it does that kind of drop down effect. So let's bring it into OBS and see this in play. Here we are in OBS and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to bring in the chat into OBS here. So I'm in my main scene here. I'm gonna add a source. I'm gonna add a browser source. We're gonna name our browser source here, featured chat. And you're gonna copy and paste the featured chat overlay URL that they provide for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna make this 1920 by 1080. Now, originally this said 20,000 to go away in 20 seconds. So you can play around with the URL and I said, I want this to hide in 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and click okay. Now I have this chat overlay window here, but it's a transparent background, so you don't see anything. So if I go to my computer here and I click on one of the messages in the streaming chat URL window, this, it should show up now. So now I have my uh, chats coming in for more engagement for my live streams, and this should go away in 15 seconds. Now you can play around with how it looks, you can center it, or you can move it around in OBS as well. So I can, if I wanna center it a little bit more, scale it down, or you, there are some settings in the plugin itself to do some different kind of customization as well. If you have any of the A10 Mini video switchers, you can bring in the live chat directly into your A10 Mini. We're gonna to need to bring in the feature chat overlay and bring it into a browser source and have that source be one of the inputs into your A10 Mini. Now your browser source can be a laptop and an iPad, which I used a couple weeks ago. Or in my case here, I have a Chromecast that's attached to my A10 Mini here, and I'm gonna bring in my browser window into the A10 Mini that way. Now the thing that we're gonna to need to use is since the A10 Mini can't read transparent backgrounds from a browser source, we're gonna to need to go into options here in the feature chat overlay, go down to green page background, and I already have it selected there. We're gonna go back to our URL here. We'll open that up and you'll see that this is a green screen here. So I'm gonna make sure this is output to my Chromecast right now and it'll be one of my browser sources here. The video you're seeing here is coming from my A10 Mini Pro. This is my main camera, which is hooked up into input one. I have my browser on my computer here, casting to a Chromecast, which is hooked up to input four on my A10 Mini. Now I'm gonna show you how we put this all together. So here we are in the ATEM software control, and I'm gonna turn on the video output so you can see the changes I'm making. And here I have camera one, which is this one you see here at the top. And then camera four is our featured chat overlay, which I already have a message up right now. So what we're gonna do is use the ATEM Mini upstream key now my A10 Mini Pro only has one upstream key. I believe the Extreme has at least two of them, but we're gonna be using the Chroma feature here. And we're gonna select our feature chat overlay, which is on camera four for me, or input four. Uh, I have my Chroma key already set, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I've, I've already played around with the mask, and you'll see why. Let me close that for now. If we hit on air, now you see something popping up right below me right here. So if I go full screen right here, now the chat window is popping up there. Now, if I turn it on and off, you can kind of see a little bit of a black bar there. And so if we go back to our software control here, this is why I turn on the mask here and we can play around with the numbers, but I got rid of the top and bottom as far as that's concerned. So this is one really easy way to bring your chat into your into the A10 Mini, or an A10 Mini Pro. Now this chat window, I'm using the Chromecast, but you can come, again, you can use it with your laptop, or the other day I used it with my iPad. And if I go into my control software, you can't see here on my chat overlay, but I've, I can make it disappear. If I select a chat, it'll reappear again. 
So it's really easy to bring it into your ATEM Mini. This has been a quick overview of the Social Stream plugin. Because this is a browser plugin, it supports so many different platforms. You can even bring in multiple platforms all at the same time, as long as you have them open in a web browser. Make sure to check out my previous video I did on the same topic using a different plugin or another piece of software. Check out the video I did on Video Ninja on how to bring a guest into OBS. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Consider subscribing. Till the next one, see ya.